Hey, how you doing, no, sir? Yeah, you know, I know how to be good. Yeah. Correct yourself, express yourself. Hey, them off course. I'm just going yeah. straight to it. Just go straight down. Let's go around. <laughs> What's going on with you, man? Another stupid day. Same stupid thing. Sir. Um, like I said, guy bring a lot of underwear briefs, you know. What? Underwear briefs. Who's that? The guy just bring a lot of them. See, if they come inside and sell those to we can sell it anything over here. You know? Yeah, yeah, who's bringing it in? This is one of the guys, he is in back, I think. I was looking for you, I don't have any number to call you. But, uh, yeah, I gave you my number. Give me a pen. You know, I'm not going to let anybody uh, from the outside compete with the people here. Bring, no, other side, other side. This is level. You know, sometimes, let's say, for example, some those merchants also, let's say, what I have, he buy from me, what he have, I buy from him. So that's the way, probably, from merchant to merchant, we make probably have a big sense, not big, but to retailer, we have to sell more in order to pay our rent and everything. But, you know, if someone bring it in and they need it, something, and they all buy it, you know, so we can make it. No, I understand. Listen, I won't let anybody come in and compete against you. That's it. I mean, you know, that's that's just standard for me. Okay. What's the name? <clears throat> what you doing, man? What you doing there? Putting the wood out the way. So, oh, du so dumbass people won't pick it up and try to I throw it at me. I saw you on the internet. Yeah. You're a bad, bad, bad boy. What do you mean? What do you mean? You're a bad boy. I don't even know who you are right now. Both of y'all gonna have to stand next to each other. Until I get both of y'all to sit. I know him, but that ain't me, bro. That ain't me, bro. I don't Go on out the door, dog. Hold on, bro. Charge it to Bulala. Ryan, charge it to Bulala. Let me get a charge it to Bulala. What is it? A uh, pack of Newport King in the box. And, uh... Now, what do you mean I'm a bad person? I don't understand. Switch at what? White out. You're a bad person. I need to show up. How so? How so? Yeah. I think you can answer that question for yourself. No, I can't. Yes, you can. No, because I don't think I'm a bad man, so how am I a bad man? I saw you get knocked down on the internet. I didn't get knocked down. Oh, yes, you did. You no. fell. No, I didn't. Well, your camera or something fell. You were on your back. Mm, no, it wasn't me. Okay. Then you're not. My mistake. My bad. Can you get that away from me, please? Derek? What is the matter with you? Nothing. I just don't want any more. Any more what? Pictures. Oh. Did you forget about the camera up here? I don't care about that one. That one doesn't snap pictures of me all the time. This one's a video camera. This one's a video camera. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
What is the matter with you today, Tarika, Tanika? Nah, 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 nah. Go on your phone. <laughs> yo, I'm moving thing. And find out my name is. My name is T. Erica. What is it called? Tarika. Is that what we need? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hey, it's like raw sewage. Why y'all in there playing like somebody did on the party? That's raw fucking sewage. Yeah, and y'all should not be in there because there is a health house. Yeah. We finna call. We finna call the health department. Do that. <laughs> Girl, he know channel two. Let me. He probably got me on camera right now. It is a valid complaint. Huh? It is a valid complaint. What's that? That raw sewage smell. Oh yeah. I mean, I don't smell it, but it probably costs. Now we can smell it like every other day, periodically. It probably costs you customers. Well, it could be soup. You know what? But they've been working on that too down there. It could be from that too. Like whatever made that blow up. It's back to back is down there. Well, if it makes this blow up, I hope hopefully I won't be in here with it too. <laughs> Man, yeah, that's gonna be nasty. Oh my god. There ain't gonna be enough money to go around for the survivors. <laughs> there ain't gonna be enough money to go around for the, for that's the gonna family. That's gonna be some nasty. Man, you probably gonna need a week to recuperate off that stinking. What if it blow up? Shit, a week to recuperate. Thinking you gonna be dead. <laughs> I ain't talking about no gas, I'm talking about that sewage back up. All these people, man. All these people hanging on the edge of life. I ain't no different, but still. I understand what that is. <laughs> hanging on the edge of life, living on borrowed time. I ain't no different, but no, I don't know. They don't see past tomorrow. Shit, you won't see past the next hour. Yeah, tomorrow. I was like, shit, you, <laughs> that's a long that, reach. That's, that, yeah, that long, that long distance. That's a long How y'all ladies doing today? All right. About when I was 35, man. About, I made this decision when I was 32. I said, listen, if I see myself getting out of this situation, being a whole lot better off than I am, I remember her from the first time I ever came down here. That's my biggest motivation to not be this. Like I refuse to be 45 or 50, like a wino with the story of what shoulda, coulda, woulda, used to. F hell, man. Nah, man. I said, listen. If I always see myself being poor and living a living a wretched life, fuck it. I might as well clock out because I ain't got time for this. I done seen people live poor. I don't what want. Up, big daddy? I want shit to do with it. They got no fucking bed, man. Hey, look, they were talking. About, they said to me yesterday. They said, man, you got to see this girl. She came yeah. through with them spandex and the draw showing. And then look, I was looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Right. Uh, so then I said, well, damn. Then I see you come from around the corner with the mother to do. I know it. Stop blocking the door, Samara. Because I'm smoking Darren. Yeah. Stop. Stop blocking the door, Samara. Don't make any difference. You've been here the longest. So what can we do about the sewage problem? People saying this place just stinks, like sewage. So, uh, last time I saw land, I think they come from downstairs. Of course it comes from downstairs. Lincoln, Some place. I thought, you know. You ain't gonna do anything about it. <laughs> Listen, we need to buy some foam. foam that expands like like foam start covering up these holes then because this is 
But you know what I mean by foam, like. What comes with foam? Like uh, the foam in the, the the foam cushion in your couch, the foam in your couch cushion. When you sit on the on the on the seat, it's like foam spans. I don't know, we can find somebody who speaks Spanish. But you need. You have to plug up these holes. I tell Andy, I, I, I let him. What's up, man? I like the Piper Hot Joints, man. Is that what you got? Yeah. What the hell is this? Patch. What's up? What's up? Nah, man. Cause I don't need that stuff, man. I can't help that, boy. How come you broke? I'm broke. I ain't been working in like four days, man. Why ain't you been to work in four days? Long story, man. Yeah. I wasn't too sure if I was gonna do this no more. I'll be going to jail in Douglas County. You know they ain't gonna want to let your ass out. I definitely don't go to jail. I stopped going to jail a long time ago. <laughs> For real. <laughs> a long time ago when I found out it's very spicy. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. You really don't know what you want to do, but money is never good to give away the money. <laughs> never way. You gotta support me, man. I don't need a dog. Come on, man. Listen. Don't make me put the paws on it. <laughs> I don't need a dog. I'm <laughs> nah, I just ain't been working like four days. That truck note. Huh? Looking to pay that truck note now, aren't you? Oh, man. I ain't never gonna pay that. That shit coming out of the credit here in East Orange. East Orange? That's where I'm from. I know, but damn. East Orange? That's my dad. He a firefighter. Oh, okay. Be the chief. You know what I'm saying? How come I always like the crazy ass women? Huh? I said, how come I always like the crazy ass women? That's how I be. Unavailable crazy ass women, too. <laughs> yeah, but they talk about that chick like she dirt. Oh, huh? Yeah. She probably is. Fire. Yeah, but she's fuckable. I love him skinny like that. Love it. Never mind. Love him. Love him to death. What's going on, man? Oh, same old thing. Just trying to stay busy. We'll keep some stuff down. Any problems today? No problems. So that's what goes on a lot of the day, just what you saw, the chips on the counter. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, I'm sure that they, they swap it out for money and they think it's funny, but. Nah, you know, fucking, uh. I can't the radio. I can't think of his name right now. Show me on 89. Shit, you took him in anyway. So, <laughs> I can't remember his name now. One of the officers or one of the, uh. CSU. What's that? One of the CSU's boy one time just took him in anyway, just saw the chip, said fuck a job, gambling, took him in and made him pay the fine. You know, sometimes I believe you can't stop people from doing stuff, but like, I used to be a speeder. You speed quite a bit. And you know what slowed me down? That fucking super speeder bill. Cause I was like, that's an extra $200 on top of the guy. Yeah, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I said, okay, enough's enough. I can't, you know. I don't I don't have the money like to pay, you know, to pay them kind of fines like that. So that's it, I'm done. I, I, I'm with you. You know something? Uh, 
one man can't clean up a big area, right? But one man can put the heat on enough to where it ain't worth it for a lot of people to, uh, to continue. But it has to do with about being consistent and uh, being on your toes a bit. It's stressful and it's a pain in the ass. But being out, being visible, being out, and, and I mean aggressive, doubling back, everything that you can uh, over a long period of time. You don't know what you deter in the, in the short run, but in the long run, it gets better. Uh, they get the perfect get tired of seeing you around, and then find some other place that, where you ain't going. Uh, and eventually, if you're on your toes, you're paying attention, you're doubling back, you're doing stuff, they screw up. When they screw up, you capitalize, and there ain't no warning. Just put everybody in. That's, that's, that's the only way. Yeah, with the, with the perps to clean up uh, this area. They're deep rooted. Uh, and I hate it that some of them are actually involved in some of the businesses here. You know? I can't do nothing about it. I know, I, I, I can't either, but you know what? If, if it's criminal activity, I guess I can. Theft by receiving, global mobile, more than anybody else. Like I said, I was able to dissuade some people and over a period of time, they just kind of stopped. I don't know how much longer I'm actually going to be here if somebody gives me a reality show, which is, I think, kind of crazy. Because I really don't think I've done anything special. I really don't. But uh, what will happen is this, this, will, this will be the center of, of, of your activity and 80 will be the center of your activity. I mean, officers used to walk through here all the time. But unless you got somebody in here, there ain't going to be, and you're not going to, I, I almost guarantee you're not going to get another one of me. <laughs> I mean, you don't even have to go about it as aggressive as I went about it, but I don't think you're going to get someone who's just going to step up and just inform like I've informed. Well, I'm over here and I got a team, and uh, what we can do is set up a schedule. So we're we're high fiving each other on the way out. Never get to call me after 20 years. Who's that? My husband. Oh, okay. I was I was, I was like, hey, where is he? I don't remember 20 years. Like, and he called me. I was like, you're going to social security. Yeah. Hey, get it now. You're live. <laughs> there is a law on the books, and I have to find it again. That if the manager knows what's going on in this building and he knows that there's criminal activity in this building it's part of your crime you're kind of held responsible too part to the crime but the, the problem is uh, being able to prove that uh, not you advise them of it any document you advise them and then they continue and then people go down for that crime and then you turn around and say hey uh, you're a party to the crime uh, and then anybody that tries to uh, uh, stop you from from enforcement or anything else, uh, they get obstructions, conspiracies, and there's a whole bunch of other uh, to do with it. So what they'll do is just stack the charges. I mean, I see, I see somebody when they went crazy on this one guy. I mean, they gave him like eight counts of. Uh, aggravated assault and this and that and firearm charges and three or four of those and I'm like holy shit they put like 30 charges on now I don't know how much of that's actually gonna stick but what the fuck I know his bail was crazy like seventy thousand dollars which I'm sure is why you stack the charges <laughs> um, yeah but they turn around they lighten that stuff up sometimes it depends on the record really you can have somebody that ain't whammy with so many charges but their violent history and such uh, keep them from getting bonded at all. And it depends on where you're at. The, the bad thing is we're in Fulton County. If we were in Forsyth County, if you committed a crime and you're out on bond and you commit another crime, you're not eligible for bond. You violated your bond agreement. You have to sit in jail and rot until one of your cases is adjudicated. Then you can make bond on one case. You know what I mean? They don't do that here? They won't do that here in Fulton. 
but they do it in Forsyth. And they fill it. It's uh, and, and there's plenty of other municipalities. I just know for sure that it takes place there. And then um, uh, they'll pay other jurisdictions to hold inmates and stuff like that. And they can't, it keeps the crime down. I, I don't think it's by accident that Fulton County, the city of Atlanta, has the crime that it has. I don't think that our bonds are as high as some of the other municipalities around here. And they need to be. Don't complain to me that you don't have the money. And then you, your bond amounts are the lowest and your crime is the highest. Increase your bond amounts. Collect more money. Use that money to help pay for the jail space. Make the inmates pay for the jail through bonds. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? That's a it's probation a, violations and things like that. Those good, big, those good fines in there on probation yeah. violations and throw it towards um, uh, maintenance and construction and fees having to do with building a better criminal justice system. But, but here's the thing. I guess here's the other flip side of the argument one guy had put out to me. He said, you know, basically, uh, he broke it down the wrong racial lines. He said the Mexicans will pay. <laughs> he said the Mexicans will pay. He said the black people won't. And so... I, you know what, I, I, I don't, I, you know, they'll pay flat out fines, all right? But when it comes down to uh, probation and, and stuff like that, you give them the option to get a fine, they pay the fine. You add anything to it and you think you're going to get something more in the long run, you're not. They're just going to flee. It's easier and cheaper to go someplace else. You know what? They're like a bird. They fly up here to do some work, all right? Build their nest, temporary, all right? Maybe even have some kids in that nest, right? But uh, later on, they're going to fly someplace else because they got to be able to make cash. And if you come in too much, and there's going to be some type of long term where they're going to keep on paying and paying, and they don't get anything in return for that. Okay, they get caught. They get caught driving with no license. They go to jail. They make they they pay the fine, and they're out. Okay. They paid the money for the freedom, and they're back doing what they're doing. Ain't changing their lifestyle so much. They are becoming, to a certain extent, part of the social fabric of, of, of America. They bring in part of their culture. There's areas that, uh, like up in Dahlonega, when I, when I used to be stationed up there in the Army, there was still Mexican food. I love Mexican food. I miss it from California. You know what? You go up there now, there's Mexican food, burrito places. It, 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 it's... They brought their food in, they brought some of their culture, and then when people get to know um, some of the people that, that, that came in to work, you see, hey, Duke works hard, good family man, very religious, Catholic, blah, 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 they're Catholic. And they're, well, I'm, just, you know I'm I mean? just not and talking then, about that. I'm talking about your criminal building up your criminal justice system, and most of your perpetrators in this county or even in this city are black, and they had the idea, well, I ain't got the money and I'm not going to pay it. And I got one guy on video blatantly saying, listen, I just rather do the time and keep my money. How are you going to charge them to fix the jail? Because they don't, they're just not going to pay. They're going to sit, and which, which transfers the, the, no, the... Keep giving them time, then. You don't want to sit in jail? Hey, that's, hey, that's one guy we don't have to worry about. Uh, you know something? He'll wise up when he gets right back out and goes right back in. You know what? There's, they, there's, there, there's time. Uh, there's people that... Lock up one day, they let him out in the next. Lock him up two days later, they go back in. Lock him up again. I got one guy been locking up for 20 some years. You know, I locked him up. Um, I locked him up in November, picking a parking box up there on 13th Street. Uh, I ran into him in January. Saw him bar. I miss Thanksgiving, and I miss Christmas in jail on that damn box picking charge. Damn, you've been doing the same shit for all these years. I said, damn, I didn't even go to court on that one. They said, if I do it again, they say, every time, I'm going to get 90 days. I said, well, maybe your ass needs to quit picking the parking boxes. And you know, I work here Thursday night and Friday night. Maybe we should stay the fuck away. I know we go way back, but we should stay with each other. But I'm going to tell you, I catch you, your ass is going to jail. And when you go to jail, you know what you're going to get. You're going to get 90 freaking days. I said, so... That's your dumbass father. You want to come up here? Let's <laughs> eat. That's all he gets for breaking into the parking box? Not breaking into it. Using the wire trying to pick the money out. Hey, some of those guys, hey, this guy's extraordinary. You give him, you give him 10, 15 minutes of privacy for the parking box, a bottle of water, his special wire, 
And uh, depending, if it's a five dollar box and they ain't cleaning that box out, uh, that dude's gonna be pulling five dollar bills out of that box like nobody's business. He will get far in 15 minutes. Oh, he'll get far more, far more than a hundred bucks. Easy. I mean, he might get 200 bucks. He might get, and you know. Oh, you talk about the parking boxes at the uh, in the parking lot. Yeah. Well, they would never do such a thing in New York City, but uh, that's an invitation to get robbed all the time. That's. I thought that was amazing when I first came down here. Who does that? But okay. <laughs> this is what, but here's, here's my thing. To me, that's it's a big deal. Because I know that parking box on Thursday and Friday night, he's over there and he's picking that box. Um, the booters are going to hit the people up for uh, 75 bucks. And then I got booty complaints. They say, hey, I paid the parking box. Now, I tell the booters, I catch him picking out of that parking box. You ain't booting in this lot tonight. You need to monitor your lot. If people are parking and he's picking the box, he goes to jail. I didn't know who he got the money from, but legitimately, you should have been watching that box. You're going to boot. You ain't going to be booting people that paid that box and did nothing wrong. You know what I mean? That's why it's important for me to catch guys like him to keep people from having this, you know, it's just a scam. And I turn around and I show up on a booty dispute and say, I paid the box. And he says, hey, look, you didn't pay the box. It's okay. I got the solution for this. You know what I mean? I do what I, I, do what I can. Yeah. And, I, and you know what? I try to be as fair as possible. I try to be positive. An honorable, you know, but I do. That's all I can do. You may not like me, and you know what? I ain't perfect. I am gonna piss some people off, but I'm gonna try and do things right as best I can. That's all you can do. You know? Yeah. Do what you can, and don't worry about the rest. And you know what? It's a lot more of an uphill battle than you might think. Oh, it's all uphill all the time. I want to know a guy who's throwing that girl. I look for that guy. I seen the video on the thing. I just want to know who he was. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good too, bro. Get away that motherfucker, man. Talk this shit. Then the boyfriend's gonna talk this shit. That that wasn't even her boyfriend. Oh, the one the boyfriend? It wasn't the father of the children? You just gotta you just gotta understand the area. Once you understand the yeah, area, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's going on. This yeah. it's just it's all stupid, they all been stupid, they yeah. still are stupid. Yeah, they are, you're right about that. Get over here, man. Get over there, man. Yes. I mean, even though, I mean, they might have been the wrong, but they just all your fate, man, and shit. Got a kid cuss you out, cut you, man. No, that, that's, that's your bad, man. That's just the tip of the iceberg, but don't, don't think I'm, don't think I'm sweet, nice, and innocent. Cause, yeah. Because yeah. I'll cut some of these people out, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you, you talking to me back it up? Are you talking to me back it up? Oh, no, you just seen that one video. Okay. No, I mean, I'll cut some people okay. out, too. Okay. I'll tell you. Do you post, you post on YouTube? Yeah, I post a okay. lot of stuff up on, okay. on Facebook, but okay. I tell people all the time, man, you know, I'm not so nice. Hey, man, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, I use that exact language. Get yeah. the fuck out of here. Yeah, got to. That, that's how they talk to you? Got, got to. Sometimes, sometimes not. You always start off, you know, reasonable and soft. And over a time period, you're dealing with the same people. Okay. I'm not fucking talking to you anymore. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. That's all. That's all that is. So you caught me now, huh? Probably. Okay. <laughs> hey. That don't that, that don't mean you'll make it. To <laughs> none of that shit, man. All right, man. I don't go on TV either. <laughs> you might be. Don't worry about it. All right, man. I see you later. All right. Don't even talk. I ain't talk to you. I told you don't even talk to this one out. <laughs> oh, my God. It's stupid as hell, boy. Hey, man, you know we like you, though. No, you don't. She and me. No, you what don't. Y'all yeah, tolerate me. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a difference. Yeah, this if is I see you somewhere from beside down there, I still fuck with you. Yeah, I tolerate you. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, now, downtown, I feel loyal. To, like, you, do you know how I you said to people? Yeah, yeah, you feel loyal I to your people. You, 
I'm like, if it's some other people fucking with you, bro, like them niggas who was here the whole day. Now when that nigga start going in the bag, and then Fred was like, man, Bullet ain't got no name. I was like, you know what? That nigga might do got a gun. <laughs> I'm behind you. You know what I'm saying? But bro, if I see some nigga fucking with you, bro, like, I know you can handle your own. It's like six niggas, all I'm trying to fight you, bro. I'm gonna fuck with you, bro. I'm, I'm dead for real, bro. Nah, don't, don't, don't get involved in that shit. You got a family and everything else. Let me handle it. You, I do, know you got you. But, but do know, if he'd have came out that bag with a gun. Oh, he was gonna get his ass fired off. <laughs> Fred was crying. Man, please, put it. Get your hand on the bag. Get your butt. Long said, long did like that, long said. Because he had the taser on the chest. Long put the taser back. Politely pulled out that pistol. <laughs> but yeah, Long. Yeah, I mean, if, if 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 I see a gun come and play, man, it, it's going to change gonna, the whole dynamics. Yeah, it's, it's not only going to change the whole dynamic, it's going to change a whole lot of lives, man. going to put somebody in bag with a face on the back of his shirt. You're going to be making this shirt. <laughs> you stupid. Don't be stupid. It's just, it's going to change my life and a whole bunch of other people's lives, too, man. It's, it's going to be, it ain't going to end well. It ain't going to end well. Hey, honey. Did I interrupt something? You want, nah, me, you want me to leave, man? Nah, nah, nah. Ain't no problem. I, I've seen your work. <laughs> You've seen my work? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sure how to take that. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of criticism. I got, I got my supporters and my detractors, and believe me, my detractors are—they're quite angry. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I believe it, but I understand. <laughs> you know, my, I can't say I don't understand. They got to be down here every day, dealing with this shit every day, not a sideline, interacting with it every day. Then come back. And tell me what the hell you want to tell me. I mean, don't make no compromises either. They can't do that either because I don't make none. So they can't, they can't make none either. Don't make no compromises or, or very, very, very few. They didn't come back and tell me what I should have done, how I should have done it, this, that, and the other. You demonizing the black man. Making us look bad. You should have done it this way. You should have done it that way. I said before. You ain't That's a very difficult situation that you were in. And, uh, oh, not that situation. A bunch of situations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you just seen the one video? You, you gotta see them all. We don't have a public restroom, sir. Sorry. Hey, no. Hey, no. Yeah. Hey, baby.